The release of Cordelia's now puts us at a total of 69 brawlers to choose from, and today I will be ranking all of them based upon how annoying their super is. Brawlers will receive a score based only on their supers, and any gadgets that enhance their supers will not be considered. Let's begin. We'll start off with score 1 brawlers, and first on the list is Colt. Because I feel like a lot of players don't really use it against other brawlers. I feel like a lot of players just use it to destroy walls or just waste it on a high safe. Next up we have Bull and he got a low score because his super isn't very effective without the stomper gadget. So its main uses become escaping enemies, rushing towards a heist safe, or just destroying walls. Next on the list we have Poco and he got a 1 because his super will either deal a thousand damage to my team or just heal his own team. And that's not really that annoying. At least when you compare it to other supers, of course. Next up we have Rosa, and she scored a 1 because even though her super makes her incredibly hard to take out, it also makes it fairly easy for you to fill your own super, and of course that's anything but annoying. Gus's super also ended up with a score of 1 because if you consider the fact that its shield loses health over time like Edgar's gadget, it deprives the super of so much value it just adds an extra 1 good attack to the enemy's health. And speaking of Edgar, he also got placed in the 1 group. Especially in recent times, I've noticed that unless he's a 10 power shield, on Edgar, his super is incredibly easy to counter, and I find myself very rarely being defeated by Edgar's, so I can't really call his super that annoying. Next up we have Max. Her super is amazing whenever a teammate uses it, but it's really not annoying when an enemy Max uses it. There's plenty of worse things to face than faster moving enemies. Out of all the supers that scored 1, this was probably the closest to being a 2, and that of course is Byron. I mean, since it's just moderate healing to the enemies or moderate damage to me, it's not really that annoying, but since it's relatively hard to dodge, as the enemy, it's definitely close to a 2. Janet's super also scored a 1. It's not very effective offensively, and the best you can do is expose you and your teammates with the stage view star power, so overall it's not that annoying of a super to face against. The last brawler to score 1 is Buster. After Montage's duration was reduced to 3 seconds, it became really easy to avoid and therefore really hard to annoy the enemies with. Moving on to the 2 group, we're going to start off with El Primo. Now, whenever he uses a super at full range, it's usually easy to predict and therefore easy to dodge, so it's not that annoying in a lot of situations. However, when El Primo starts off close to you, it starts to become more of a spam super, and that's when it becomes pretty hard to deal with. Barley's super covers a massive area and does quite a bit of damage over the course of 4 seconds. But unless you get caught in the very center of his super, it's pretty easy to dodge or just wait for it to expire, so it's not really too annoying. I decided to also give 8-bit a 2 because it's already pretty annoying to get shot by the enemies, and his super essentially just makes the bullets do time and a half damage. But the turret is not a threat on its own, so it's hard to label it as too annoying. Next we have Daryl, and he got a 2 because his super does a little bit of damage and has a slight knockback, but that's only if it makes contact. If it doesn't make contact, it ends up being a very easy fight for the enemy. The next brawler on the list is Stu. I mean sure, he can charge it in one shot and dodge your attacks, but the real annoying thing about it is when you accidentally step on the fire and then burn yourself for 4 seconds and just feel like a fool. Yes, you may call it a skill issue. Next we have Pam, and I've gotta say, her super is only really annoying if she uses it offensively with Mama Squeeze, and since that's not always the case, she scores a 2. With lack of a better word, Hank's super is weak. Unless you rush him as an assassin, it's not like it's gonna do that much damage, but in the off chance that you catch him as Buzz and then just get destroyed, it can be annoying. Next on the list is the Creature of the Night. Now, his super doesn't do that much damage, and it of course heals him if he makes contact, but the biggest annoying aspect about it is actually the fact that nothing can protect you from it. I mean, I guess bats just pass through walls now. Next up, we have Mr. P. Now, who would have thought an endless supply of penguin porters would only be ranked 2 on a scale of annoyingness? Well, honestly, it's because they pretty much just take one extra ammo to defeat, and they barely do any damage if they manage to hit you. Meg's super's super deserves to be in a much higher tier for annoyingness, but it was nerfed way too hard. Before her big rework, it would have easily been placed as a 5 on this list, but now it doesn't even do enough damage to intimidate me, so it's most certainly not that annoying. Now, I wasn't really too sure on where to put Lola, but since it's capable of spitting a massive amount of projectiles at you in a really short time, and of course do a lot of damage if those shots land, Lola Super can definitely be a little annoying, so she gets a 2. Last on the list of 2s is Sam. His super has been reduced to almost nothing without his gadgets, and of course it's been nerfed a few too many times to call that annoying, even if it's capable of dealing nearly 2000 damage. Moving on to the 3 group, we start off with Nita. In a lot of popular compositions, she will have the Hyper Bear star power active, 
And so as soon as you make contact with the bear, you're gonna take a lot of damage really fast. Just remember, I'm still pretending like gadgets don't exist. Next up we have Penny, and it starts to get quite annoying whenever she hits me with Master Blaster, and then I'm stuck playing Dodge the Raining Mortar Shells until the turret's destroyed. This can of course get pretty difficult. Carl Super is pretty easy to cancel if you're the right brawler, but once you're a brawler who can't cancel a super, it can and will get pretty annoying. B is in a 3 group solely because of the slow effect that our super applies to enemies. Slow effects are by far one of the most annoying things that you can get in the game, and of course, whenever it's a high damage brawler that's giving it to you, the next 5 seconds are usually gonna be rough. Next in a 3 group is Bonnie. Her super is incredibly fast and of course can have incredibly long range. Its impact damage is definitely unpleasant and she's most certainly a brawler that I don't want to be rushed by. Next up in the 3 group is Gray. His super can get pretty annoying when you're at low health and he picks you off. Gray stands out in comparison to other brawlers with similar supers because of the fact that his teleport is instantaneous. He is amazingly annoying at delivering the last shot. If you're wondering why Crow's super is no higher than a 3, it's mostly because a lot of crows seem to use it as a finishing touch. In my experience, by the time the crow uses his super, he's already poisoned me and used a slow gadget, so it's not like things could get much worse. Sandy's up next, and his super's at a 3 because I can't stand when I don't know where the enemies are. When you combine that factor with rude sands, it can become pretty easy to be annoying. Did you ever step on an amber puddle to try and bait it, but then you actually get set on fire? Well, I have before. It's pretty annoying, and it's mostly why I put amber in the 3 group. When considering its offensive capabilities, Ruff's super is very effective at taking down assassins, which in turn makes it very annoying if you are the assassin in that interaction. And finally, the last brawler in the 3 group is Ash. His rats don't always deal too much damage, but depending on the brawl you are, they're pretty hard to clear. But anyways, being hit with that super can be somewhat annoying. Anyways, we're moving on to the 4 group, and the first brawler in that group is Brock. When they have the right aim, you end up dead center in the rocket circle of doom, and sometimes there's just no escape. No matter what star power she uses, Jesse's super can be very annoying. It has high HP and a pretty fast DPS, and quite frankly, it's not that fun to take out, so in most cases, when it lands right next to you, it is pretty annoying. If you survive the impact, you get knocked back, and he's probably getting another super ready to finish you off. Dare I elaborate more? Rico's super is like a cult super but worse. It of course makes certain parts of the map a very bad place to stand, which in turn can get pretty annoying. Next up is the Knockout Queen, and her super is pretty annoying because when you know it's charged, you can't really rush after her that well. Not to mention, if you get caught in the middle, you bounce around like you're in a pinball machine. BB super can get pretty annoying because a lot of experienced BB players know the right angle to fire the super to hit your entire team, or even hit you multiple times. And that's a great way to drive someone crazy. Next we have Chester, and I'm just gonna speedrun his supers. We have his stun at 5, his heal at 1, his ran at 3, his M sting at 5, and his nuke at 4. His average ended up being a bit under 4, but I forget what it was. Gale ended up being a 4 because all he has to do is get the right angle with blustery blow, and then you're stuck against the wall while he's filling up another super just to do the same thing to you. Colette's super is famously known for finishing you off, and it's safe to say that anything that defeats you a little too much is incredibly annoying. Getting rushed by an assassin is surely unpleasant, but getting rushed by an assassin and stunned as soon as they reach you is so much worse. The stun that Buzz delivers on contact is definitely what makes his super very annoying. RT definitely has one of my favorite supers to use, but on the other hand, it's one of the most annoying supers to deal with. His super combined with just one attack can vaporize you even if you're a moderately high HP brawler. Maisie's super is relatively annoying mostly because she can knock you back no matter what you're hiding behind under a Jackie sized range, not to mention she can spam it if she hits your whole team. We're now at the 5 group, which is Borderline Nightmares, and the first one is Shelly. If she hits you up close, you're gone. And if she hits you at a mid to far range, you're alive, but you're slowed for probably long enough for them to finish you off. The last place you want to be is right next to a Jackie. Unfortunately, that's exactly what her super does to you. Her super is very annoying, and it's one of the few that can easily lead to a team wipe. Next on the list is Frank. When he can actually pull it off, it will obliterate walls, and anyone caught in it is usually forced to just watch themselves get taken out. You have 12 gems. You're running back towards your team. 15 seconds till you win. And a gene caught you. You lose the game. I think that pretty much summarizes how annoying gene super is. Sprout super also gets a 5 because I feel like there's a lot of situations where it can block out any damage that you can deal 
but create a perfect outlet for Sprout to damage you. Willow Super can also be very annoying, especially in Showdown, because as soon as she catches you, you know you're as good as gone in the poison. Leon also scored a 5 because even if you know where he is, because Leons are predictable, they can still oftentimes approach you in a fight that you can't win because Leon is just a deadly brawler as is. Surge's super is definitely approaching to be one of the most annoying. The fact that he can jump, knock you back, and upgrade himself all in one move is scary to think about. Bell's super is very annoying and it's simple because even if you take her out, you're stuck marked usually until you're defeated. Fang's super is fast, easy to recharge, and can chain across your entire team. Considering those three factors, it's easy to see how annoying his super is, and that's not even yet considering his gadget and regular attack. I think the only thing preventing Otis' super from being a 6 is the fact that it doesn't slow you down. In fact, I think that if Otis' super had a slow effect, I would have quit the game a long time ago. But either way, all the things that it does prevent you from doing it surely makes it one of the most annoying supers. And the final brawler in the 5 group is Cordelius. It seems like it's going to be pretty annoying whenever you get put into an unfair fight against Cordelius when he hits you with his super. I mean, even the power cubes disappear. And prepare yourself because the next 12 brawlers have the absolute most annoying supers there are. And the first on the list is Tick. Ever since the release of Thickhead, his super has been almost unstoppable. I mean, that extra 1000 health creates a huge list of brawlers that cannot stop it no matter how hard they try. Next on the list is Bo. Whether they're bouncing you around or stunning you for way too long, his minds are beyond annoying. I mean, imagine how hard it was to push a slow brawler's mastery. Ems is also in the 6th group. A walking slow zone that deals damage and keeps you in the worst place possible can definitely come to be one of the most annoying things. You can only imagine why Nani is on this list. The fact that she can fully eliminate some enemy brawlers from pretty much anywhere in the map makes her have one of the absolute most annoying supers in the game. I don't even know where to start on this one. It deals high damage, has an incredibly wide spread, has a pretty long range, and pierces targets. The only thing that's in the way is walls. But little do you know, Griff has no problem breaking them. In open maps, if there's an enemy Griff, your team is in huge trouble because his very annoying super will take you all out. Grom also has his super in the 6th group. Why? It's able to knock you back, it has an incredibly long range, it covers quite a big area, and it's surprisingly hard to dodge. Anyways, getting hit with it is most certainly annoying. I don't know if she ever went away, but I feel like Terra's making a comeback. She completely wiped my team out in the latest championship challenge, and her super is more than capable of squad wiping. Even if it's hard to fill, it's definitely one of the most annoying supers in the whole game. I am personally a fan of using windup, but I'll actually get annoyed as soon as I see an enemy squeak because I know that his super is gonna slow me down. And like I said, nothing's worse than a slow effect. Spike may be the reason I made this video. After his mythic gear came out, words can't describe how annoying the spike super became. Its slowing is so strong that you're almost slow to a stop even with fast brawlers, and then you're just sitting there while the enemy team slowly picks you off. And I don't really think there's any Brawl Stars interactions that are more annoying than that. Lose Ice Ring can ruin the game for you in a lot of game modes. It has an incredibly long duration, it stuns you, it doesn't really let you run that well. It even damages you, but not that much. But damage doesn't matter because it is still one of the most annoying supers. Eve Super also made it into 6th group largely because of her mythic gear that makes quadruplets. I mean, the hatchlings are annoying as is, and now there's a fourth one, and they can swarm you way too fast for you to get comfortable, and this is incredibly hard to deal with. And last, but definitely not least because she's annoying as heck, is Mandy. Similar to Nani's ability, she's able to wipe out enemies from way too far, and thrives in modes like Knockout. And when she's on the other team, it's a complete nightmare. You may think you're safe, but then you get eliminated by someone who wasn't even on your screen. This list was made completely from my opinions. You may have agreed with some or disagreed with all of mine, and that's completely okay. Feel free to leave your opinions in the comments below, but please be respectful to all other users. And if you stuck to the end of this video, thank you very much, because this is the longest upload I've had yet. But anyways, I really hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Peace out, everyone.